welcome to Busy Books. My name's Elizabeth, and today we are drinking Misbehavin' Belgian-style triple from the Wingman Breweries with Veronica Mars and the Thousand Dollar Tan Line. Written by Rob Thomas, the screenwriter for the television series and film of the same name, and Jennifer Graham, Veronica Mars and the Thousand Dollar Tan Line picks up right where the 2014 film leaves off. Veronica is trying to make Mars investigation work after ditching her steadfast boyfriend Piz in a lucrative career in New York. Neptune's spring break is in full swing. Girl goes missing, Sheriff Lamb is his usual incompetent self, and Veronica is caught in to investigate. A second girl goes missing, and the plot thickens as someone from Veronica's past shows up. Per usual, Veronica uses her feminine wiles to get right in the middle of the CD action, almost dies once or twice, and of course, fingers the wrong suspect only to realize it almost immediately. You have your usual cast of your favorite characters, Wallace, Mac, Keith Mars, the inept Sheriff Lamb. Unfortunately, there's barely any hint of Weevil, and the long-distance angst between Veronica and Logan is presumably just a plot set up for a future book. We meet a few new characters, the Gutierrez cartel cousins, who are just too exciting not to have a part in future Neptune scandals. Reading this with the Misbehaven Belgian-style triple from Wingman Brewery in Tacoma, Washington. Misbehaven pours a sunny blonde with a little bit of wheat and yeast and just a big pop of spice right at the finish there. With a 9% ABV, it's on the low end for your average-style triple, but just like Veronica, still pops a decent punch. Recommend drinking this and just about any triple in either a tulip or a snifter glass, but if you don't mind mixing your glassware, a red wine glass works just as well. If you're a fan of noir detective novels, this book probably isn't for you. Sure, it talks about the seedy underbelly and corrupt officials of a small, rich town, but it, the tone is just too light to really be a true noir or hard-boiled detective novel. Now, if you love the exploits of Veronica Mars and her friends, this is definitely the book for you. Super fun read, takes about three hours, definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching Boozy Books, where we review booze and books every week. Mm -hmm.